We've heard from his family and people all across the country that say Floyd's death will not be in vain. Now we already have seen changes this morning at police departments across the country and even here in North Texas. Let's go live to Daybreak's Chris Sadegui in Dallas with more details. Well, Kara, we very well may be seeing the changing of policing in this country happening right now. Here at Dallas Police, they have already made a couple of changes in their policy, but in other cities across the country, the proposals are even more significant. We've heard the cry of defund the police. That's led to some cities identifying what funding could be taken from police budgets and moved to other causes. But in Minneapolis, the city where George Floyd was killed, their city council is considering completely disbanding their police department. At a rally yesterday, a majority of their council members were present, and the council president said they want to transform public safety completely and take a more community-based approach. Our commitment is to end our city's toxic relationship with the Minneapolis Police Department, to end policing as we know it, and to recreate systems of public safety that actually keep us safe. No details were given as to what those systems might look like, and the mayor of Minneapolis has already said he does oppose the idea, but other changes could be coming to the entire country. Democrats on Capitol Hill are expected to announce their plans for police reform today. It is called the Justice in Policing Act, and some of the reforms would create a national police misconduct registry, a ban on chokeholds, limiting officer immunity, put restrictions on military grade equipment for police departments and make lynching a federal crime. Here in Dallas, the Community Police Oversight Board will resume their meetings tomorrow night. They will start doing those meetings virtually as we are in still in that pandemic. Mark, back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. Of course, uh, those changes, potential changes, have been sparked by the protests across our area, across our country, across the world even. We have seen protests in London, Berlin, Spain, Italy, and Australia over the weekend. So many people fighting for justice, and it seems like those protests are only getting bigger as we get to Daybreak's Hannah Davis, who joins us from her house, because, Hannah, we're seeing more protests planned for this weekend in North Texas. We certainly, uh, this upcoming week, rather, we certainly mm -hmm. saw plenty this weekend. Uh, yes, we did, Mark, and it's not just one city. This weekend we saw Dallas, Fort Worth, McKinney, Plano, and many other smaller communities having those protests, and they continue to grow and call for change. Let's take a look at some of the largest and most powerful moments from over the weekend. This one coming from McKinney, where hundreds came out to call for change. You know, every community does have its own history with police brutality and police relationships with the public. In McKinney, I know a lot of people were thinking about and talking about a young black teenage girl who was thrown to the ground at a pool party five years ago by an officer. That video uh, caught on tape, it went viral. Protesters there are calling for more oversight and reform after the death of George Floyd, and they say this all brought back the memories of police brutality in their own backyard. Here's a look in Plano, hundreds of people in the heat, a diverse group on the move, signs, calls for change, and of course, Dallas was the largest this weekend. It's the largest city. Thousands of people gathered. Unlike the weekend before, there were no arrests or violence that we've seen at this time, just peaceful protests calling for that change. Now, just a gigantic gathering of strangers. Take a listen to what they said. I think you're seeing a, a, a country that has looked itself in the mirror and said, this is not who I want to be. This is our moment, and we've got we to get past the stall. You know, I was just talking to one of our viewers on Twitter about um, what makes this moment different, and she was saying it's the involvement of white citizens that are seeing what's going on and are involved in a way that we haven't seen before. Just the diverse nature of what's going on, that it's not an issue just for black men and women. It's an issue for everyone and everyone's really speaking up and fighting. So we'll see how much that continues, if it continues to grow, because I know protests are scheduled around North Texas. Now I'm going to throw it on over to Cleo. Cleo, good morning. Good morning there, Hannah. Yeah, it has definitely sparked some much needed conversations. Let's not forget